I'm Hope Ford. A former DFAX employee testifies she didn't follow proper protocol while checking on two-year-old Layla Daniels. Layla's foster parents, Jennifer and Joseph Rosenbaum, are on trial for her murder. That worker testified she didn't report a broken bone to her supervisors and she didn't follow all the safety checks when she visited the Rosenbaum's home 15 days before Layla's death. It's the third testimony this week from DFAX employees on mistakes made in Layla's case. It's not the first time DFAX employees admitted they broke protocol. They admitted it after the deaths of Imani Moss and Reagan Moon. I was assaulted by a staff member at Morehouse College by the name of De Demarcus Cruz. I'm Ryan Kruger. A top administrator at Morehouse College is suspended after students come forward on social media with complaints of sexual harassment and assault. The now viral Twitter videos were posted late Tuesday night. The man at the center of the controversy is Demarcus Cruz, the interim director of the Department of Housing and Residential Education. The students claim Cruz sexually harassed and assaulted them. Morehouse says they're investigating those allegations. Senator Johnny Isaacson hospitalized. His spokesperson says he fell in his D.C. apartment Tuesday night, fracturing four ribs. We're told he's in pain, but resting and doing well. Governor Brian Kemp tweeting his well wishes to the U.S. Senator, asking for prayers.